now I can play video games. <laughs> Growing up, some of my favorite memories were playing Nintendo in my parents' basement with friends. Now, we've all grown up. Thankfully, I don't live in my parents' basement. <laughs> but I still want that experience. And I can actually get that through Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is a website where you can watch broadcasters play games live, and you can chat directly in real time with them. So it still has that social interaction. And similar to YouTube, with Twitch, you can make money by becoming a partner if you gain enough popularity. On Twitch, there are top broadcasters right now that make $200,000 a year playing games from their apartments. And this past January, a charity event raised $1 million in one week on Twitch. So all this popularity hasn't gone unnoticed by the gaming community. Um, and Twitch has grown to enormous proportions. Last year, uh, more than 200 million people watched Twitch TV every month, and more than 1.5 million people were broadcasting on Twitch. With such a large market, you would think that information was widely available. However, it's not. Starting off as a broadcaster is a very confusing experience. Um, there are all sorts of technical details you have to tend to. Is my internet fast enough? Can my computer handle it? What programs do I have to download? And how can I make it all run smoothly and continuously for my viewers? Aside from that, there's the difficulty of creating content. How do I create something that people will want to watch? Why would anyone want to watch me play video games? And lastly, there's the branding and business side of it. You know, broadcasters aren't businessmen, they're gamers, and they need help accessing their target markets. So if you want help broadcasting, your options are pretty limited. You know, a quick Google search will reveal that um, you know, if you have a question about something specific, you can pretty much go to forums where someone's already asked it, maybe Reddit, a little bit of Twitter, or something like that. The difficulty with these options is that they're limited in their scope. They're anecdotal. Here's what's worked for me, and hopefully it works for you too. The problem with this mentality is that it completely neglects what viewers want, which as we know through the Summer Accelerator is a big no-no. So our solution is to create a website. It's content-oriented, and it's driven towards authoritative, research-based, proven methods that will help your channel grow. We're hoping to do this through specific articles that are targeted towards specific problems that broadcasters have. And we plan to monetize it through banner advertisements on the website, affiliate links in the description for hardware and different softwares that broadcasters might need, and through a monthly subscription which gives users the option to access our research directly. This is our team. I'm Brandon, <laughs> this is Tyler, and Evan's in the crowd with us today. And the story you heard at the beginning, that describes all of us. We're all gamers, we love Twitch, and with your help, we can turn, we can continue to grow that community and turn it into a business. We are Boxcast.